Hey guys, it's Rec. Uh, <laughs> I've kind of fucked up. I haven't put out a video in a while because I accidentally deleted all of my commentary from this series. Well, not really this series, just this one video. Um, luckily, this is only contained to this one episode, and it shouldn't a big deal with the rest of the series, but it does give me an interesting chance to sort of do a little bit of post-commentary where I normally wouldn't be able to. So we're just going to roll with it and do it like that. A little bit less exciting, but at least I can give you some thoughts on the game as a whole, because I haven't really done that in a while. So what we've been doing is we went from Dawn Guard to the Companion Guild and then back to the Thieves Guild. Uh, Dark Brotherhood, of course, done in the background across all files. It is now completed now in this save as well, so I'm completely caught up. All the Skyrim videos you have seen thus far are all in this file. So, um, chronology, chronology uh, everything's there. I think maybe I might have done one or two side missions off camera, but that's about it. So... The next thing I'm going to ask myself is, should I keep making these after the Thieves Guild or just end it there? I at least plan to do um, the other expansion, the the Dragonborn expansion, because I haven't even touched it, and I was specifically saving it to record it. The Mage's Guild kind of sucks, to be completely honest. It's really boring. Um, like, I tried getting through it, and it was just freaking bunk it's it's boring i don't think they did a completely great job with it compared to all the other storylines it, it just kind of seems like the same sort of find a rare magic thing magic blah 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 nonsense so it wasn't really compelling for me so i might not do the magic the magic guild uh now I'm going to kind of leave this one to you. Here's here's the long and the short of it. And I apologize for people watching this series through from the beginning. And they're like, God, what the hell? I was really enthralled in this. And now he's like doing all this random post commentary and talking about his YouTube channel. I'm going to try to make this brief. I need you guys to tell me what the fuck you want me to do. Your choices are A... I go into the rest of Skyrim and I finish everything. Like, I'm going... From here, I'll probably go do the Mage's Guild. And then after that, I'll go do Dragonborn. And then after Dragonborn and everything else is done, I'll probably finish the main quest. And that's where we'll stop. Um, Because I think that's all I have left to do. I can't... I'm not sure what else I haven't done yet. But if we do the Mage's Guild, I'm going to do a lot of off-camera work to level my Illusion skill up really high. And probably do a shit ton of side quests in the process. But if I don't know any magic before going to the Mage's Guild, I'll feel really dumb. So, yeah, there you go. And leveling my illusion is going to be very simple. It's just going to be me casting Muffle on myself over and over again. But it'll take a while. So I'll probably level about 10 times. But, um, yeah, that's basically the plan. Um, so depending on what you guys tell me that you want to see from me in this series, I'm either going to just say fuck it and go straight to Dragonborn, finish it, and then never do any Skyrim again. Or, um, I might go back to Jade Empire after Skyrim. And as far as I could tell, you guys didn't have a problem with me and Boldex doing co-commentary on that. And now that I've got an SSD, everything on my computer runs at light speed. So... Yeah, my plan is to get Voldex in here and we're just going to finish Jade Empire because I can't use half the music from Jade Empire and having his sweet, luxurious voice in the background would be fabulous. Even if 
even if it will completely change the the uh, general theme or the what I was going with was to make it really where you're really paying attention to the story and you know showing all, you all those elements because Voldex will distract from that because that's what Voldex does <laughs> but it'll probably be really funny instead so you're basically if with Voldex commentating you're switching out the story and like seeing how the game actually is and you know getting wrapped up in what's going on you're switching that out for probably the most hilarious commentary ever because Voldex is damn good at that like I will give him all the credit in the world he is um speaking of which we need to go back and do Terraria for the other channel fuck I completely forgot about that anyway um yeah, so I'll be doing that with Voldex on the side. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, what after that? Well, I'll need a new solo series. And my new solo series is probably going to be Deus Ex Human Revolution. Probably. Because I've wanted to play through it again for the past forever, but all this crap with Skyrim and Jade Empire and Splinter Cell. Man, I completely forgot about Splinter Cell too. Man, I've got I've still got series that I haven't done yet, but I don't think I'm going to end up going back to Splinter Cell for some time. I might go back for nostalgia later and finish it up. But I'll end up playing from the beginning and then recording the end that I haven't recorded yet. And I also have to apologize to Free Pain because I did promise him I'd do co op through Splinter Cell with him. But I just freaking get busy and whatever. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlyle already did away with it. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness. Exploit it. Quite simple, really. The weakness, of course, is staring at it and doing nothing. Now let's get moving. Because that's all he does, and the door just whoop. Shot through the heart, and you're to blame. You make love a bad game. Oh my god, this is turning into mystery science theater. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, he must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise, Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath he took his nightingale? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Interesting. It appears Gallus' history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Don't cut off my penis! Don't cut off my penis! Don't cut off my penis! Don't do it! Ah, get off my penis! Ah! 
Easy, easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? I can't feel my penis. Why did you shoot me? I saved your life. Oh. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Oh, but thanks. We wouldn't be having this conversation. Well, that's nice. Why did you save me? Ma'am? Lady? Oh, hi, Serena! Yeah. Don't look at my pants. Don't. You'll, you'll be sad. We won't be dating anymore. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way that prevented your death. Well, I'm in your depth, I guess, uh, even though I feel kind of awkward about it. More than you'll ever realize. The poison on the arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. Well, that's conveniently All bad. I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why well, capture Mercer alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus' murder. Well, how are you gonna prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. That's good. Well, what's it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Well, you can probably translate it somewhere. Enfer. Gallus's friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. Well, there's that word again. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Okay. So perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Oh. Thanks. That's cool. So, why didn't you kill him? Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. That's dark. Might not have a choice though, next I time. I promise you, if it comes to that, and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Okay, good. He was a scholar, a master thief, and a natural leader. Everyone respected him and followed him without question. It was Gallus who inducted me into the Nightingales, and honed my skills to a razor-sharp point. I owe everything to him. We were very close. Oh, you guys were Gallus necking. He said he felt comfortable around me, able to let his guard down. I can't help but think that I'm responsible for what happened to him. Probably are, stupid bitch. I'll Come with me. Out. There are preparations to make. Oh. And Gallus's remains to lay to rest. Okay. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. All right. Well, bye. Oh no, not the pony! Oh no, the pony's dead! Serena, they killed the pony! I don't remember what I was saying during this part in the original commentary. So, I'll just say thanks guys for watching and sticking with me. I know it's been a while, I'm sorry. I'll get back to recording later, but today my nose kind of stupid.
You probably heard me sniffing a little bit. Um, I gotta retake my GRE exam so I can get a master's degree tomorrow, and after that, I probably will have enough time to do some recording and stuff. If I go back to school next semester, then I'll have plenty of time to re render, and I can record at night, and it'll be awesome. But, uh, this is from us to you. Merry Christmas from Skyrim. Me and Serena, jingle bells, jingle bells, Carlyle laid an egg. <laughs>